Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified with my latest update. Hey learners, welcome back to my another video. In this video, we will see different roles of a manager. So without wasting more time, let's come to the video. First of all, let us see who is a manager. A manager is the person who is responsible for planning and directing the work of group of people working in an organization. Manager responsible for supervising, motivating employees and getting the work done from them. There are generally 10 roles which are characterized in three parts. First, interpersonal which carry roles like figurehead, leader, liaison. Second category we have informational which carry roles like monitor, disseminator, spokesperson. Third category we have decisional which carry roles like uh, entrepreneur, disturbance handler, resource allocator and negotiator. Now let us see all these roles in detail. Figurehead A manager has social, occasional and legal responsibilities. He is expected to be a source of inspiration. People whenever they face any problem, they look up to him as a person of authority and as a figurehead. If they have any question, queries, they directly go and ask from their manager in the hope to get certain answers and in the hope of resolving their issues. Second, we have leader. This is where manager provide leadership to his team, his department or perhaps to his entire organization. It's where a manager manages the performance and responsibilities of everyone in the group. Third, we have liaison. Managers must communicate with internal and external contacts. He needs to be able to network effectively on behalf of his organization. As the leader of the organization or a unit, the manager has to perform the functions of motivation, communication, encouraging team spirits, and so on. Further, he has to coordinate the activities of all his subordinates, which involve the activity of liaison. Next, we have monitor. In this role, Manager regularly seek out information related to his organization and industry, looking for relevant changes in the environment. He also monitors his team in terms of both their productivity and their well-being. Next, we have Disseminator. This is where manager communicate potentially useful information to his colleague and his team where he provides the information related to how they can perform the work easily. If there is any new rules, new policies, he provides them the information. If he have new strategies, he share with his teammates and so on. Next, we have spokesperson. Managers represent and speaks for his organization. In this role, he is responsible for transmitting information about his organization and its goal to the people outside it. A manager act as a spokesperson in behalf of his team. If there is any output or if there is any query, he raises voice, he put his words near the head of authorities in behalf of his teammates. Next we have entrepreneur. A manager is said to be an entrepreneur because a manager creates and controls changes within the organization. This means solving problems, generating new ideas and implementing them. Next we have Disturbance Handler. Whenever there is any conflict or there is any problem, a manager must resolve them, must take the charge to uh, short the problem, to short the conflict, if there is any issues, it's uh, duty of manager to provide information to uh, overcome those problems so that work could continue without any problem. Next we have resource allocator. A manager also needs to determine where organizational resources are best applied. This involves allocating funding as well as 
assigning staff and other organizational resources if there is any need of more resources if there is a shortage of resources it is the manager who keep the updates if there is any shortage then manager provide resources to their teammates so that the work can continue without any uh, without any shortage without any breakdown next we have negotiator in this role the manager represents the organization in bargaining and negotiation with the outsiders and insiders in order to gain advantages for his own unit he negotiates with the subordinates for improved work for commitment and loyalty with the peers for cooperation coordination and integration with the workers and their union regarding conditions of employment commitment productivity with the government about providing facilities for business expansion etc so here we have seen different roles of a manager i hope you like the video if yes then don't forget to give a thumb up and subscribe the channel to get notified with my latest update if you have any queries or if you have any questions then don't forget to leave a comment i'll come up with your answer so see you soon with some more interesting videos in our another video till then